Hello dudes and babes, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Clash Royale. So as you can see, I have been spending a good amount of time battling it out in tourneys. This is my first time actually participating in a tournament and uh, it was set up by one of the members of, uh, of the DT family and I thought, you know what, why not? So um, you know my current deck and uh, my current deck actually was working out for me quite well in the beginning. Let me go back all the way to when I first started to participate in the tourneys. It lasted a little bit over two days, so uh, I've had my ups and downs, as you always do in Clash Royale. So uh, basically, this was the deck that I was using in the beginning. I was using my giant, um, giant wizard and uh, musketeer deck. So what I did is I gave it a go for a good couple of times. It worked for me a-okay. You know, I've won a little bit, I lost a little bit, but then I went ahead and basically looked back at the attacks where I lost a ton, and I thought, well, you know what? If if I can make one modification without changing the cost of my deck, what would that be? So I decided to go ahead and swap one of my cards for a card that Wicked and I in previous episodes actually discussed in depth and we thought that it was going to be a bit of a, um, not a game changer really, but more of a, uh, is going to make a comeback. And of course that card is the Goblin Barrel. So I went ahead and I changed my deck just slightly. I changed my, uh, I swapped level nine archers for the Goblin Barrel. My Goblin Barrel is only level two, but nonetheless, it still has definitely helped me to gain a little bit of an advantage, you know, by sneakily throwing those goblins at your opponent. Uh, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the replays. Uh, let me find some juicier ones over here. So let's look at the um, one crown here, one crown. Okay, so I think, I think this one was actually pretty good. Um, I love how it also shows you in replays what their actual trophy count is. Um, in the um, in the tourney so um, it also would be really helpful to me at least to know what their overall trophy count is in the game and not just in a tourney so let's go ahead and take a look at this replay over here this is the very first time I'm actually swapping my archers for uh, goblin barrel and uh, my opponent here from the very beginning drops a golem so I was quite prepared for the golem because like you know golem is an awesome card but also is pretty easily countered when you know how to uh, how to counter it properly so let's go two times the speed and see what has happened I dropped my giant from the beginning I absolutely love it when I have the opening deck with the giant and then what I did is instead of sort of panicking and dropping you know cards to save my giant instead I decided to go ahead and successfully counter the golem and then take care of the rest so here we go goblin barrel boom we are causing a little bit of a damage there not a whole lot because he dropped his archers to counter my goblin but it's not a problem because we still got this and here he is dropping his mortar mortar is going to be taken down super easily of course with my minion horde minion horde is really really useful when you are countering something that does not have air defense property so of course um, super easy to counter you know a cannon uh, a mortar uh, a crossbow or expo whatever you prefer to call it so here we are doing a second push and we didn't get a whole lot out of it um i thought i was actually going to be able to take down the entire uh the entire uh tower but i didn't and once again countering the mortar with the uh, minion horde on the right and here we go sneaky drop off of the goblin barrel on the left hand side and we brought home the victory one crown in and i I only had 15 seconds in so I didn't think I was actually going to be able to pull off a three crowner here so one crown is all I settled for so it was actually a pretty pretty successful uh, game for me given that uh, I just swapped the deck was kind of testing it out and seeing whether or not it was going to work and it did so I decided to stick around a little bit more and then I uh, did a few more games um, I don't remember there were a few times when my opponents actually have abandoned the arena that is something that I don't do no matter how raged I am and how enraged I am so maybe one of these is going to be the example of when my opponent decided to rage quit on me and I three crowned but I don't remember which one it was so here we are we're doing our push on the right while my opponent is doing a push on the left we're going to take down the witch first with the uh, Valkyrie and then it is going to be really quite easy to uh, take down the giant on the right we just countered a hog rider and a uh, prince combo which by the way I haven't seen in a while and I have been seeing more 
more and more lately. So here we go, waiting until my opponent drops his card and he drops a Valk. I am going to go ahead and wait just a little bit, put a Musketeer behind my uh, Giant and then of course here goes the Cannon, here goes the Valkyrie to take down the uh, Witch. Witch in combination of Witch and a Giant is a really powerful combo. However, if you know how to take down the Giant uh, and the Witch, you know, without uh, spreading yourself too thin. So what I do is I take down the Witch first and then I go for the Giant because if you drop your Valkyrie on the Giant, it is going to be taken out by the Witch and therefore you're going to entirely waste your Elixir. And here we go, quite easy three crown over here. So I uh, really, really enjoyed it and um, I was feeling really excited. I was like, wow, this deck is really working for me and it worked for me many, many times always got to lose a little to win a little so not a huge deal but overall i think the deck that i currently have right now is a pretty solid deck let me show you this one uh replay here that i um i've done the battle in the non um non tourney environment and this was here against one of my teammates in the clan and uh i was in the friendly battle and i was like Okay, this is a frozen arena. I am so absolutely not winning this one, but with just a little bit of patience and just a little bit of persuasion, somehow I was able to get through it. I don't know if he was like, ooh, this is the clan leader. I should let her win. I hope that wasn't thinking because I would be very disappointed to get very, very disappointed at that. But let's go two times the speed. I will show it to you really quickly. It is always so nice to be back in the arena, uh, in a frozen arena. I've, uh, like I said, I've used the uh, Supercell's developers built to record you record uh, preview videos for you guys. And ever since I have not been able to um, you know, make my way into the frozen arena. It's been a little bit of a journey. I'm finally in arena seven. So one step at a time going into arena eight and look at that sneakily hitting up the tower of my opponent with the goblin barrel. For that, I absolutely love the goblin barrel. I think, you know, sneakily, 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 you can actually cause a ton of damage if uh, your opponent is overwhelmed and paying attention to other things. You can certainly cause a pretty good amount of damage with the Goblin Barrel. Yes, they're no longer causing uh, any damage on the impact, but however, they are cheaper, and so that does work out in your favor uh, every once in a while. So here we are stopping the Royal Giant, and by the way, ever since I made it into uh, Arena 7, I feel like I've been seeing fewer and fewer Royal Giants, and before that, I feel like Royal Giant was the biggest pain in my behind, and now uh, it is actually not the case. So here we are, uh, once again, pushing for at least one crown, and here we go closer and closer. We are making our way to the one crown of my opponent in Frozen Peak. CK Warrior, a new member, new addition to the Dangerous Thing family. Welcome in. So uh, let's go back to my deck right now and I will show you what it is. So this is my current deck. If you guys want to give it a try, do go ahead and do so. Like I said, it's worked out for me quite, quite nicely. And now to close off this video, let's open up my tourney my tourney uh, chest. I have never opened one of these before. So let's see what is inside the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. All right, what a beautiful, beautiful chest, guys. Looks absolutely stunning. And let's go and see what's in there. We got a minion, we got a bomber, and we got an Inferno Tower. So nothing too exciting, but now that I got a little bit of a taste of tournaments, I, I think I'll be participating much more often and hopefully opening up more of those chests. I will catch you in the next episode. Until then, DT is out.